Hey guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith, and in today's video, we're gonna do something I haven't really done in a while. I've only done it really once on my channel before. But we're gonna go ahead and feed all of the animals that I have here at Colson Scooters, um, starting with the fish tank here. So let me grab some food and the camera lens, and let's get to it. Before we feed the fish though, I'm gonna grab the food right now. Before we get into that, um, as you may know, a lot of my animals are actually nocturnal here. What is this camera doing? As we know, a lot of the animals here that I have are nocturnal, so I won't be able to feed them until nighttime. It's currently daytime. I don't know if you can see the sun over there, like the sunlight coming in. What am I saying? Um, anyway, I won't be able to feed some of them now, so I'll have to wait till tonight. But first, we're gonna feed all of the animals that are awake during the day. Okay, so don't mind the glare from the sunlight here, but here is the 150 gallon reef tank. This is some pre-made food my dad made. Um, we don't really have too much new things in this tank since the last time I showed it. Um, we do now have a, a little baby holy grail torch, which is new, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that though, that's pretty much all that's new. Um, oh, this Bimac Antheus. We had three of them um, and they just randomly died and we only have one left. I don't know what that was about, but still can't figure it out. If you hear that weird noise in the background, that's my new puppy, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but yeah. Here is the tank. We're just gonna get a few clips of this and then I'm gonna feed them. I guess we're gonna film the puppy next because he needs to not stop making noise and wanting attention as puppies do. So we're gonna film the dogs next and yeah, let's show you the puppy. Jax, come here. Ah. This is Jax. Um, he's in a mini American Shepherd. He's tangled up in my mic cord. Um, he is the chaos of our house right now. The little puppy doesn't run out of energy and he just nonstop barks at night, but He's cute, so he makes up for it. Um, he also attacks my dog, Ollie. They just play, not really attacks, but, um, which I'll get some video clips of later. Um, he's a little little dork. Um, yeah, nothing really much to say about him. He's got really cool eyes, um, super pretty. And my paw, super smart too. He already does this. He already knows how to sit. He already knows how to go out the doggy door. And he's very, very young. Um, I forgot how exactly how old he is, but he's not, he's only a couple of months old. I'll put it on the screen here. I'll ask my mom. Um, but yeah, he's adorable. But let me show you the other dogs as well. This is Ollie. Um, we were told he was a Pomeranian Bichon, but I'm pretty sure he's not, not too sure what he is, but I don't think he is a Pomeranian Bichon. Drop it down in the comments below what you think Ollie is. Hi, Ollie. They're best buddies. Jax is in attention, loves attention. Hi. Okay, next is Peanut. We've had Peanut for a very long time. He's actually deaf and blind, um, so he doesn't really know I'm here. Um, I mean, I'm sure he, he does, because I just touched him. But he is a cockpoo. Um, he's very old. I think he's 13 or 14 right now. Um, he doesn't like the puppy very much just because the puppy always jumps on him. And okay, next thing on the list is gonna be my fish tanks in my room. Um, yeah, I mean, since we're already on fish tanks and already had the food out, let's just go ahead and show you those and feed them. So here's the 20 gallon tank. I got these two fairy wrasses in here. I mean, uh, this is a fairy wrass. I have a yellow chorus wrass or a canary top wrass in here. Um, this is just temporary for these guys until I move them into my 90 gallon over on the left over here. And this is my 10 gallon Nana Reef. Um, there's also a fairy wrasse in here. Um, there's a redfin fairy. All three of them will be going into the 90 gallon together once I get that all set up. This tank's a little bit dirty. I'll have to do a water change and scrape the glass. 
These utter chaos those are just massive, it's insane. Um, this steak's looking really nice, uh, mainly mushrooms, um, euphelia, and zoas in here. Um, mainly that's my mushroom tank. This one's gonna be kind of my all tank. I have some Ghanis in here that aren't too, too happy, some SPS and some zoas. Um, my zoa garden over here. I need to clean this tank as well, but we'll get into that later. All right, we do have a bunny as well. He's kind of a newer um, addition to the fam. Uh, Jax is gonna come outside with us, I guess. Oh, Ollie, come. All right, um, so we're gonna go see him. Uh, he's not very nice, or she's not very nice. Um, it's my sister's bunny, so yeah. Uh, he's not very nice. We was kind of a rescue. Um, didn't The owner didn't couldn't take care of him anymore, so we ended up taking it for her, um, but yeah. I'll show you the bunny. Jax. All right, here's our bunny hutch that my dad, sister, and I built together. Ooh, we got a pair of frogs right here. Oh, three frogs, what the? These are Cuban tree frogs. I'm not gonna touch them, they're actually poisonous, uh, meaning if I touch them, this will create a poison on my skin. If I licked my hands or something, then that'd be bad. I don't think they really do anything to humans, but I'm just not gonna touch them anymore. Here's the bunny. Um, I forgot her name. I'll put the name on the screen if I remember. Um, she's not very nice. I don't really come over here too often. Um, this is my sister's bunny, as I said earlier. Um, but we're gonna open up the cage here and get some clips of her. Okay, this is Fred the Puffer here. Um, he's in here with a yellow tang. Don't mind the tank right now. Uh, we put a UV sterilizer here and another pump on here just to clean it up because we had a little bit of an algae bloom and we have the UV sterilizer helping out with that and the extra pump, which almost took care of it. It's almost gone. You can still see kind of a haziness to the water. That should be gone in a couple more days. But here is Fred, the adorable Fred. We're gonna go get him some shrimp to hand feed him and yeah, I'll be right back. All right, I got a few pieces of krill, which is Fred's favorite food. I'm just gonna hand feed him here. Come here, buddy. Wait for him to notice. Oh, there it is. Hey, watch your fingers feeding him. Literally adorable. I'm not gonna feed him too many because I'm pretty sure my mom already fed him, but um, we're gonna feed him three pieces here. Literally adorable. All right. Bye, Fred. Fred here is in a 90 gallon tank with a 40 gallon sump. Um, this uh, whole setup, I'll do an updated video on the setup and all that later. Um, if you haven't seen it, I have actually filmed a couple videos on setting up this 90 gallon. Um, it wasn't complete in the video, so I'm gonna make another one of me completing it, which I filmed already. Next thing on the list is our crusted geckos. I have three crusted geckos here. Um, so I'm gonna pull them out and bring them out of my room so you can see them a little bit better. And then we're gonna get to the cutest animal I own. Okay, this here is my first crust crusted gecko. Um, he was the first crusted gecko I've ever had. Um, I named him William, and he is the biggest um, crust crusted gecko I have. I shouldn't be saying he, it's actually a female. Um, I just thought I was a male when I was little, automatically, just because I wanted a boy. Uh, but yeah, this is him here. Um, super cool. I'm not sure like what kinds of crusted geckos, so I, I'm not too familiar with those. Um, so I'm not sure what he is. Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, I'm gonna go put him back and come back with the other one. Ooh, okay. Well, okay, so this is my newest one here. Oh my gosh, he is so jumpy. He's not really used to being held because I haven't held him as much as the others. Um, but this one's super pretty. Oh my gosh. Very jumpy, as you can see. This one's super pretty, though. Um, you can see, like, the flame patterning on him. I know he's a flame pinstripe. Um, 
just because that's what they told me when I got them. The other ones I didn't ask when I got them because uh, one of them I got for my for Christmas, so my dad bought them and I didn't care at the time. I was like, I don't know, 10. Um, and the other one that I have, which I'll show you after this guy, um, we got from uh, Pet Supplies Plus, I believe, um, and I was also very young, so I just didn't ask. Um, but he, he, I know for a fact, is a flame pinstripe. Um, super pretty. Let's see him right here. He's not fired up right now either, so this is uh, this is what he looks like, not really fired up. Um, if you don't know what that means, fired up is basically when Crested Gecko's like um, just shedded. Um, most of the time is when they just shedded, and it's mainly at night because they are nocturnal, and it's when they have a bright coloring that their like true potential is. Um, yeah, he's super pretty. I think it's a male. I mean, we obviously I can't tell, but I'm hoping it's a male because I need a male. I have all females right now. I know for a fact the other two are females because they're older and they actually lay eggs. Um, so I know for a fact they're females. Hopefully this guy's a male so we can start breeding with them. Obviously he's too small right now, but when he gets bigger. Um, but let me grab the last female real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, stop jumping, Lil. Okay, here's the last one. Um, she is definitely not fired up right now. She's actually going through her shed right now. Um, so she's like right, yeah, right about to shed. Um, I know she has Dalmatian in her because you can see the little dots all over her. Um, not sure what kind, but yeah, she's super pretty. Um, especially when she's fired up. If I can get a clip of her fired up, I'll put it up right now. Um, if not, I'll just show her later on my Instagram. If you want, you can check out my Instagram. Um, it's Coulson's underscore critters, and it'll be linked in the description. Yeah, if you ever want um, some pictures of my animals, or you just want to know when videos are going to come up or some exclusive content, you can go and check out my Instagram. Um, link will be in the description below. Um, yeah, I post pictures of my animals frequently on there, and I post on my story when I'm going to be posting videos. So, and just some random clips that weren't on my YouTube video as well, like bloopers and stuff. So, make sure you check that out. I'm going to grab the last animal. Um, I believe that's the last animal. Did I get everything? Yeah, I'm going to go grab the last animal. In my opinion, he's the cutest animal I have. Um, his name is Blueberry, and you've probably seen him in one of my other videos. If, you, if you're new here, you haven't, but I'll go grab him. Okay, I forgot this is actually supposed to be a feeding video. So, um, yeah, let me feed the um, crusty geckos here. This is just Pangea fruit mix. Um, I believe it's the watermelon flavor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the watermelon flavor. It's my favorite flavor. Not that I eat it, but the smell of it's really nice. Um, yeah, and the crusty geckos love it as well, so that's good. Um, yeah, I basically just do about a, you know, a spoonful. It's just a Menchie spoon. Um, I just use a spoonful of it um, for each of them. Besides the little guy, the little guy gets um, a little bit less than half a spoonful. Um, and they, what in the world? Okay, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, then I just use half a teaspoon or half a spoonful for the little guy here. And then I just go ahead and take my, completely forgot that, but you're bad. Okay, I have one of these like poison um, sprayers. Obviously there wasn't poison in here. Uh, and then I just pump it up. I used to spray down their cages, but I also use it to mix their food as well. So you just mix it with water. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. This is just how I do it. And if I accidentally put too much water or not enough, then I just add water or I add the paste. More paste. Yes, yeah, so like this one's not enough. Um, I'll show you the consistency you want it um, in a second. I'll just mix them all first, and see if I need water for how many I need them. Honestly, I kind of want to eat this. It smells really good. Boy, if you don't get. Uh, I don't eat it though. I wouldn't recommend eating it. I'm not sure what that would do. But it does smell really, really good. Yeah, so you want the consistency to be some like, somewhat like this. Um, one of the guys, I like to give him a little bit of thicker consistency. It's actually the little guy here. Um, because, not for the Crusty Gecko, but because the water, the way I built... So I built his background with, out of spray foam and all that. You can see that video in my um, on my page as well. Uh, but I built his out of spray foam. So I built the where the food tray goes. It's a little bit tilted like this, so it's not thick enough. It'll just pour right out. Um, but if it's like this, it'll, it'll stay like this. So yeah, that's how I make it for that guy. I'm gonna go give them their food, maybe get a few clips of them eating it, and then I'll grab the cutest animal.
Okay, the next animal on the list is gonna be my sugar glider, Blueberry. Um, he's a male sugar glider. He, we fill his bowl with this every single day. Um, it's just all, constantly full with this. He knows when to stop eating. Um, this is exotic nutrition, the glider complete food. Um, this is what I use. It works for me. It works for my friend, Risa. Um, she recommended this for me and she actually breeds sugar gliders. Um, so I would recommend this to you guys. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it. They're not sponsored um, unless they want to be. Uh, but yeah, this is what I use at home. Um, so that's a great food for him. He also eats a lot of fruits. Um, where is he? He's over here. Let me bring him over. Here he is. I put him in a little t-shirt. That This t-shirt's always in his cage. Um, just It was an old t-shirt I had. Um, so I put him in this little t-shirt so he could hide because he is scared. Um, he doesn't like my dogs at all like because the dogs try to attack him. Um, so he's terrified right now because he's in my living room or in my kitchen. He's eating the blackberry right now. Actually, absolutely devouring this blackberry. Um, yeah, let me get some close-up shots. Hey, Bluey, what would you like to say to the people? Okay, blueberry here is a nocturnal species. Um, here's it. Ow, that's my finger, not the blackberry. There you go. He's chowing down on his blackberry right here. Uh, he is a male. You can tell by the um, you know baldish spot here on his head. Um, he's literally adorable. But yeah, sugar gliders are nocturnal. They need to eat tons of fruit, and they have um, a little pellet diet that I'm giving them, as you saw earlier. I'm gonna put him back in his cage just because he's a little freaked out um, and he hasn't finished his sleep. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know which fam which animal was. Which animal was your favorite down in the comments as well? Make sure you click the like button and subscribe if you are new here. Till next time, peace. So I'm trying to get a camera, they're just super expensive. Um, I wanna make the video quality a lot better um, and this camera would help me do so. Um, so if you could just hit the subscribe button or like button or comment anything, um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.